All right, just like that, we got the seat off. And inside here is a bird's nest. But inside the bird's nest, that is the connector we are looking for. That is an XT60 connector. There's two things we need to figure out here, male and female, and polarity, plus and minus. The thick rubber coating on there, that's coming from the battery. That is on the female XT connector, and the male connector is going to the controller. There's no need to cut this tie wrap off yet. And then the next thing we need to look at is on the XT connector, I'm gonna call it a square end and a triangle end. You see that they go together. That's important for polarity for everything. The square part is your red, which is your plus. The triangle is your minus. That's all we need to know for making up my wiring harness. This is the idea. We're gonna make a splitter for this. And we're going to run new battery wiring from the back. That's all we need for now. As far as that goes, we can shove all this back together until after we make the harness and install it. And just like that, we have a wiring harness. Well, let me give you a close up view. This is going to the spare battery, or should I say auxiliary battery. And then we got some heat shrink. We got some of that uh, flexible Chinese finger, Chinese finger trap protection, more heat shrink. And here is our splitter. So that is our, that is the end going to the existing battery that's mounted on the frame. That right there is our connector going to the controller. If you are looking for a tutorial on how to solder, this is the wrong project for you to be learning how to solder. If you already know how to solder and have a soldering gun, then yeah, you're ready for this. I will leave links to the XT connectors, cord protector, heat shrink. I just bought it at Home Cheapo. All right, man, let's go do the rest of this job. Here is my wiring harness with the built-in splitter. The design here is that's gonna shove down in there. This is gonna come through underneath here, and then this will come up over here and into the box. So it'll all be modular and removable. Okay, that's the female connector coming off of the battery. That is the male connector end on there. So if I got this right, this is gonna plug in, the battery's gonna plug into this, and that's just gonna shove down into the tube as far as I can get it. So I'm gonna fold that wire there. I'm gonna plug this right here, which is to my controller, on like that. Ooh, this may work. And then this right here, is gonna find a way inside all of these other wires, come out here underneath, and that's gonna get routed. Oh, look at that. Boom, right up to the battery. Shit, man, this is going to work. Like so, boom. And the seat will go on there now. So now, all I gotta do is stick a couple tie wraps on here. That's where my wiring harness comes out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drill a hole right here at the bottom. I think that's it for the box modifications. So let's see if I can show you all this without bumping the camera and the tripod. So that's it. That's the inside of the box right there. I've got a three quarter inch insulating bushing. That is where the XT60 connector is gonna go through. And that will be my disconnecting and connecting point if and when I should want to remove the battery box. So it's totally modular. Pretty simple, pretty easy. On, off. And then take the key with you. Nobody's gonna be able to turn it on. All right, let's 
Let's get that wiring harness set up. We got the wire coming from the frame into our battery box. Our switch is mounted right here. This right here is the female part. It's gonna plug into that right there. Lots of slack in here. So that can all go underneath that foam. And this is going to hook into the battery. So I've got slack where I can go from here to here, there to there, unlimited. And then the battery comes with, you know, six inches or more of slack on it. So we got plenty of flexibility, plenty of room to do all this. And now let's just get the uh, foam back in here. Now I don't have a battery yet. Do you hear me? I do not have a battery yet. Why? Because my riding season ended <laughs> this week and uh, I'm not going to buy a battery only to sit around in a cold garage for four months. So in four months I'll put up a video the battery that I pick out. But any battery will fit in here. You've got a full 12 inches end to end across this way, almost nine. You could probably call it nine. But look. I'm done. Okay, I hear you asking. So I am going to explain to you how this system is going to work. First off, ignition, that turns on and off the controller. That's off, keys off. Now you've got to choose which battery you want to run on. So if you want to run on the main battery, you push the main battery on. This needs to be off when this is on, otherwise they are hooked together in parallel. Leave this off, leave this on. You need to switch batteries. Turn this off over here. That's off. Now you can turn this on and you're running this. Whichever battery is on is being fed through the splitter in the tube and you're gonna get your voltage reading and display on your normal display. Pretty simple. The only thing is you gotta make sure that you never turn this on and this on at the same time. So the best thing to do is always have both of these off until you know which battery you wanna use. I would not be hot swapping batteries. By hot swapping, what I think I mean is if you need to switch batteries, stop your ride, kill the ignition, kill the battery that is on. So let's say this is on and the battery's dead and you're running out of juice. Turn this off. Now turn this on. Now turn your ignition back on. Pretty simple. And look how clean that looks. No wires, nothing showing. You've got to look really hard in there to see that wire. This is awesome. I'm gonna have 40 miles of range now. <laughs> Fucking Tonga Harris. 70 plus mile range. That's why I bought this bike, to be honest with you. Because I honestly believe his bullshit that we would get 70 plus miles. Under any circumstances, that's normal. No one's been able to do it. No one. Total fraud. All right, man. That's it. You know the program. Build them good. See ya.